Hello traders, this is Mike Billion. Today is March 11, 2015, and let's talk about the market. Right now, we don't have any positions in the market. I closed everything yesterday since the bears destroyed support yesterday. And that was, that was the reason that I closed everything. So when you have a plan and you follow the plan, the plan is to cut losses when you are wrong. At this, time, at this point, we have very nice positions that were uh, slowly going to the upsize and we were making 10, 20 percent, but not enough for me to take profits. Eventually the market played the other way after job reports number and after other news around the market. And as you can see here in the spider in the S&P 500, it went parabolic. We went, we went going up after a big huge consolidation here from uh, the end of November until the beginning of February we break out but it was very slowly with no volume I was afraid that it was gonna happen because there was no volume in this move I was expecting for price to go to the top like it did here like it did every time we go up we usually uh, test the top of the huge major option channel this day this time it didn't happen but we can gap up from here and test the top and that's that's why I don't want to get short in here right now spider is totally bearish DMI is bearish you can see the volume on the downside every time it goes down there's a lot of volume it break down the 50 simple moving average and it confirmed the breakdown today so right now the only support that I see is the 197 level which it was support um, in, in the uh, at the beginning of um, February it was support at uh, the middle of uh, January it was support the beginning of January and it was support uh, in December also so you see all this support so this is a very very important level right now I want to trade a bounce from here or break down to these levels so that's what we have to do right now I don't want to enter any trade right here because we are trading a market that is totally bullish long term so it can gap up any day on any stupid news and take your, your puts to the to the ground so we better wait for high probability trades right now since we are down for the year it has been a very hard to trade beginning of the year since this all consolidation up and down up and down up and down and then this is this move right here that was very slowly and now all the stocks follow this move they follow it but it was very small and you could tell that we got visa apple baba facebook they were all paying but it was so little that we didn't want to take those profits and we were expecting at least more but eventually the market break down after the jar reports and that was, that's the whole story so now we have to wait be patient because the next batch of trades is gonna be high high probability only so you can see the spider here 197 is the key level now let me show you the Russell so when you're trading you have to use the three the three um, benchmarks you have to use the Russell the spider and you have to use the DIA which is the Dow Jones right here what do you see huge support here we, we are very close to this support and fighting at the major major resistance now support the 12067. So what is the next trade right here? If you break down this support, this jet line, of course I'm gonna get short. I'm gonna be very cautious around the 113 area if we play the breakdown here. But for sure, if you break down this support right here, we can go down to 107. Now, if it goes right here, it can also bounce can also bounce really nicely and make new highs so that's what I'm watching in the in the Russell now let's see the Dow Jones the Dow Jones has the same pattern very close to the support this is major support right here it's totally bearish on DMI but that's what we have to wait we have to wait until it break down or if it bounce we're gonna enter long for now just wait now let's talk about Apple Apple right here 
We also closed Apple. I was lucky that we closed half of the position because it could be a disaster if we could close it. And I say many times, 125 is our number. If, if you know the bears took that level, I say get out, get out because when the bears took important levels, you have to get out. You have to honor your stock so you can stop the bleeding and you to burn your account. So we stop it and you see it now. It's heading to major support, which it was resistant back in November. It was resistant at the beginning of February. So now it's gonna be a nice support right there. And it's very near to the 50 simple moving average. So let's just wait to see here. DMI is bearish. I think it's gonna test this level. And there it can, you know, we, it can bounce from here or it can break down and definitely test this trend line. This trend line is more important than this Fibonacci level because you see many times, many points, that price uh, went to this trend line. So this is gonna be a nice support to go long because the trend is still long. Now let's talk about Facebook. Facebook, as you can see here, it did the same. Um, it didn't hold the 79th level and we get out of that trade. We couldn't get right here 25% profits, but I was expecting a continuation, but it didn't happen, and we took a small profit on this, a small loss on this one. So it's holding the 50 simple moving average, and what do you see here? Nice trend right here. Nice trend support to go long again, or to see if the bears are strong enough to take this support and go down to the 60s. So let's see you. Let's 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 wait. Now let's talk about another one. Let's talk about let's talk about the VIX. I also like to go to the VIX when I don't know where the market might go. So I watch the VIX and I can see here the VIX break out the 16 uh, 59 level. Usually when we break out the level, it continues. It goes to the 18. So if it goes to the 18, what it means is the bleed the bleeding is gonna continue. So from there, at the 18 level, then if you break out the 18 level, it usually goes to the 20s. So meaning that the bleeding is going to continue. So I also watch this one because if we can continue breaking uh, our resistance and the, and the VIX, it means that the bleeding is going to continue. If I see a retracement and a finish below the 16 level, then I will tell, okay, the bears are exhausted. And they wanna, they're going to take a pause right here and probably go down. You know, the VIX is going to go down and the market is going to start going up and probably make new hires. So I'm watching the VIX. So I'm watching the, the DIA, DIA, the spider, the IWM, which is, 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 is the Russell, and the VIX. Those four um, ATFs are going to tell me uh, where the market is going to have or high probability. So let's watch the VIX also. Now let's talk about let's talk about CAT. CAT right here is the major support level, 7846. You see, it went from here, it bounced, if it, it fell at 8566, <clears throat> but right now it's very near again. So it could it could be a double bottom and, and really have a nice breakout. Or if you break break down this level, we for sure are gonna go to 68. Very easy trade because this is a major support. Uh, it was support back in July. It was support in August next last year. So be careful right here if you wanna go along. If you break down this level, get out. But it can also bounce. So let's just wait. You know that way you can see the trade. The trade is there, but it's not ready. You know, you have to be there like a sniper waiting until the price break out or bounce. So be, be very patient right here. Now let's talk about MU. This is the micro technology. It break out this support line, but I don't like that it's holding right here at this Fibonacci retracement. So I was tempted to go short in here, but I said let's wait here because it can easily go and test again this level, this support level, and from there it can go down. Now they're gonna um, report at the beginning of April, so we still have a month uh, there, and what I'm going to see if, if the, 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 
bears can take Friday slow. That will be the, the enter to go short, which is the 2746 level. This level right here, if you break down that level, the 47, 40, 46 right here, you can go easily short. It could be a nice trade since the ADX is very high. It's a 30, so we can easily go to 23. So keep an eye on this one. The key level is Friday's low, 2746. Now let's talk about another one. Let's talk about BABA. We have BABA in a long-term portfolio using the stock and we enter BABA here, nice trade right here and then we close the July calls because I said I looked that it failed it failed to break the 20 simple moving average it looks right here that it's moving sideways but it's bearish it's bearish because DMI is bearish and strong so I'm thinking that this is gonna go down to retest this bottom of this little channel, this little trend channel and probably go to test this major trend channel uh, support which is around 76 75 so be careful in Baba here using auctions buy the stock hold it hold it because this can this could eventually move up very nicely I like Baba long term but not auctions right now now let's talk about the last one let's talk about let's talk about Twitter Twitter right here break out this beautiful triangle wage you see you break out we didn't do anything he, he, he looks like he didn't break out anything. He break out here, he moves sideways, and now he's inside the triangle again. I hate Twitter. I think it's a horrible company. They don't make money. I don't know what they do. I, I think this is very expensive. This this stock should be in the 20s, not in the 46. If you, if you, if you know how to read fundamentals, you will agree with me. And I think this thing is going to go to the bottom again. It's going to play again right here in this support around... Two, uh, 37 38 and it's probably gonna bounce until it gets to the apex of this triangle and then from there we are gonna see a big move probably to the downside since, since fundamentals are so bad now let's talk about another one I have another one here that I want to talk about that's first solar uh, you saw it right here it was moving nicely support is a 59 and that's the key level this one is bullish this one is bullish there's a gap right here that I'm worried about that probably the bears once wanted to close this gap right here. So a nice level would be 54 to go long if you bounce from here. Uh, or if he, if, he, if he doesn't hold the 59, you can go short because for sure it's going to close this gap around 50. But it looks bullish. It looks bullish. So what will be the enter to enter long this top? It will be a 6250. If we break out, we start going up, and he break out the 6250, go long because it's gonna go to 73. So all the trades and all the stocks that I'm watching, we have to wait. We have to wait. There's night trades uh, setting up, but we have to wait to pull the trigger in high probability trades. This is everything for today. Trade on.